for Monash. Deputy Speaker, a Nobel Prize winning drug discovered in Japan in the 1970s. The drug has been safely used in over 3.7 billion do doses since 1987 and added to the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. This drug was used successfully by a number of countries around the world in the treatment of COVID. In fact, there are 250 studies which show this drug significantly lowers the risk for mortality in COVID. Yes, I'm talking about the drug ivermectin. You would think that with such a safe and effective drug at our disposal in the midst of a pandemic that we'd look at whether we could use this drug to protect our population. But no, what did Australia do on September 10, 2021, on the eve of the many vaccine mandates we banned it? Why? According to the TGA, and I quote, concern that people who have been prescribed ivermectin might believe themselves to be protected and therefore not get vaccinated. This safe and effective drug stayed off our shelves until the 3rd of May 2023, when all of a sudden it reappeared again. Who or what caused this reversal? I'm aware that some doctors are even prescribing ivermectin to people suffering from vaccine and long COVID. I'm f I'll finish by quoting one health expert who said, if the TGA cannot tell the difference between toxic horse deworming medicine and a potentially life-saving, safe and effective medicine, they should not exist. Who was it should take responsibility for taking this life-saving drug off the market? Member